G'day guys, uh, welcome to this video where we'll find the unknown side which will be in the denominator. Okay, let's work out what the value of the hypotenuse is. Uh, correct to one decimal place. So the first thing we'll do is, you know, start the same way as we um, did in the previous um, exercise where we had to write down what ratio we have to use. So if we use Sokotoa, that will help us um, work out what ratio. So this um, side is the opposite. There's the hypotenuse. So we have opposite and hypotenuse. So when we use Sokotoa, opposite and hypotenuse is the sine ratio. So sine theta equals opposite over hypotenuse, which is 14.3 over x. Multiply both sides by the denominator. Cancel the uh, values that we have the same on the top and the bottom, so that's the x. So x times sine 38 is equal to 14.3. Remember sine 38 is just a number, it's the ratio. So what we can do to work out what x is, is divide both sides by sine 38. So if we divide both sides by sine 38, we'll end up getting x is equal to 14.3 over sine 38 degrees. So really we just divided both sides by sine 38. These guys will cancel and this is what we have here. Use your calculator to evaluate that and round it to one decimal place. So the working out is slightly different to what we saw in the previous video where we had to work out what the prime numeral is on the numerator. Here we're working out what the numerator, sorry, what the prime numeral is in the denominator. So write down the ratio, multiply both sides by the denominator, and then divide both sides by sine 38. Okay, pause the video and attempt this question and let's see if you can get out the answer. Okay, step one is to determine what we um, use, which ratio, sine, cos, or tan. So we have the opposite. We don't have the hypotenuse. So that leaves us with the adjacent. So the opposite and adjacent is going to be the tangent ratio. So opposite over adjacent. So tan 50 is equal to opposite over adjacent. There's the opposite. Here's the adjacent. Next step, can you remember what we had to do? That's right. Multiply both sides by our denominator, which is y. And then our next step is to... Yep. Uh, cancel the two y's. So that leaves us with y times tan 50 equals 13. Our next step is to divide both sides by tan 50. Evaluate that and then round it to two decimal places. Okay, so it rounds to 10.91 and our units are millimeters. Okay, how did you go with that one? Alright, thanks for watching the video on finding out what the denominator is.